Hello everyone, welcome back. In last video, we have already studied that cascadeless schedule are recoverable. Okay, and in cascadeless, the read is only permitted after commit. Okay, but I haven't mentioned about write. What is the criteria for write operation? So in cascadeless, write is allowed. So let's say if we have a situation like this where we have first read x then write x okay and you can see that this transaction t1 is not yet committed at this point but transaction t2 is performing a write okay write operation fine so this is allowed under cascadeless schedule fine so write is allowed but read is only allowed after this commit is done okay so as after this commit the read is being performed by transaction t2 that's why we will say that this is a cascadeless schedule okay but this is not a strict schedule a strict schedule is strict that's why it is called strict okay so it is even more strict than cascadeless and it says no operation is allowed in a strict schedule the rule is that the transaction neither can perform read nor write before this is committed okay before transaction t1 is committed okay let me repeat it again according to strict schedule transaction t2 cannot perform read or write before it is committed while in case of cascadeless transaction t2 can perform a write operation okay so for this transaction t1 and t2 that is for schedule s1 what will be the strict schedule so let's write it down the schedule s2 which i have written here this is a strict schedule because you can see that transaction t2 is performing read and write that is write and read after this commit only after this commit okay so first transaction t1 commits then t2 will perform read or write okay so this is a strict schedule right now let me write it down this is strict now a question arises here that according to what i have explained now somebody can make a convention that it means that strict schedule is serial schedule right because i am not starting any operation from transaction t2 before it commits right are you also thinking the same okay so let me explain here strict schedule is a serial schedule only if we are walking over the single data item x okay so in case of single data item yes it will be a serial schedule because until and unless the first transaction is committed it will not start okay but this is not the case in most of the situation quite often transactions works with multiple data items okay so if we have let's say some data item y then of course this transaction t2 can perform a let's say read y here okay in between so now you can see it is not serial schedule right it is not serial schedule but yes it is still strict schedule okay so serial and strict are, are different thing okay of course any serial schedule is strict schedule okay so but strict schedules are not serial schedule you can see when we are working with a single data item yes strict schedules are equivalent to serial schedule <coughs> but when we are working with multiple data item then all the strict schedules i mean strict schedule will not be serial okay so i hope this is clear now let's understand what is the correlation between the strict schedule cascadeless and recoverable 
so uh, in strict schedule we don't allow read or write both the operations okay so let's say if this is strict strict then what will be the cascade less cascade less will be superset of it okay because in cascade less we we allow write operation before commit okay so this is cascade less and all cascade less schedules are recoverable so this is the set of recoverable schedules so strict schedules are cascadeless and cascadeless schedules are recoverable so all the strict schedules are recoverable all the cascadeless schedules are recoverable okay fine so i hope you understand this well now if you have any doubt anything which i have explained so far is not clear please go to techtoo.com in doubt section and ask your doubts see you in the next lecture thanks for watching